So last week we did a £30 Brexit box from the Spider Shop. This week's mystery box or mystery bag is a £50 one from Portsmouth Tarantulas. Hello and welcome back to Bug Rounds. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I didn't know you did not give me any warning. You wait. <laughs> On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Right, I can cut the video now, you can do what you want. <laughs> I didn't know you were actually going straight do it, usually you tell me. <laughs> okay, now that Danielle's sorted, we can get on with the video. <laughs> so, £50 bag. If you are new to this channel, Danielle does not know spiders, which is what makes this little series of mystery bag and box openings quite fun. So, what do I expect in here? I actually don't know when it comes to the 50s. It feels like there's a few reasonable sized tubs in here rather than a lot of sling pots. One, two, I think there's three in here, maybe four. I've had 50s before. I've actually done Portsmouth Tranchel as 50. Uh, well when they were boxes before in the past on my old channel so if you want to go and check that out feel free to okay I really don't know what to expect in these ones I would say a bunch of slings and a juvenile again but as I said the pots feel bigger so I think we're gonna have a few juvenile tarantulas in here so what I saw Danielle looking at at the show were various pokies which I told her she doesn't want as a beginner <laughs> so if we get any pokies in this mystery box series they're hers um, oh, I will just help she looked at Nandu Chromatus which we don't have in, in our last mystery box and we didn't pick up she looked at slightly at Agens and we got a baby Acanthus curia geniculata so that was kind of sort of one on her list and then you looked at other Brachypelmas as well. Yeah. So let's see what we've got. You went first last time, shall I go first this no, time? No, I want to go first. All right, you go first then. Oh, nice. Pamphobetius vespertinus. I actually have one of these and mine is male, that I think is suspected male. The molt wasn't perfect, so I couldn't check fully, but it looked to me to be male. So if we've got a female got a in there, on the bum. yeah. So Pamphobetius have patterns. So you, they have they call them Christmas tree bums. Yeah. Because they have a Christmas tree pattern on their bum. Tree. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how you can identify Pamphobetius. They almost all or do all look like that when they're little. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. So this is a twenty-two pound. They've left the prices on these. That's what I like about doing the Portsmouth ones. They often leave the prices on so you can see your value. So a £50 mystery bag, we've already got £22 yeah, worth of value. Can't get that lid on properly. Oh, I love Pamphobetius, so I do not mind having this one. I... Do you have it? I've just explained, you don't listen to me. <laughs> I just said, <laughs> literally just explained. Okay, so, my turn then. Right, this doesn't count, alright, because this <laughs> is clearly, clearly some count. sweets. Sour worms. There you go. Right, hands going in. It feels to me, I'm just having a rummage. One, two, there's, there's at least three more in here. So I'm going to go for the one nearest the top. I can't get it out. Ah, oh, OBT. Pteranoculus murinus red colour form OBT. Now, I was actually going to buy an OBT for... Bobby, Roberta Merritt, one of my disciples of the realm, and name it after her. But I actually said to her that I want her to pick out the OBT because she's coming to the UK for BTS that will be named after her. So this one is not going to be Bobby 2.0. This is, this is just going to be one of our OBTs. So yes, very pretty tarantula, highly defensive tarantula, not one that you should really look after. But really, really fun, really good food response. Great to keep when you get it right. Just don't mess with it, basically. 
Now, OBT, owning another OBT was definitely in my list. I'd like to get a lot of different colour variations, so I'm really, really happy with that. And that was priced at £22 as well. So that's £44. I just spat. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, that's £44 out of our £50 bag already gone, and there is still definitely at least two more in here. So, your, your turn. Before we continue this video, did you know that Bug Realms is affiliated with the Spider Shop? So when you next need a stunning new tarantula, some healthy live food, well needed equipment, or just in the market for something unusual, please head over to the Spider Shop via my personal and unique link in the description below. This won't cost you anything extra, but it gives me a little back in return for your loyalty. Thanks guys, now back to the video. No peeking! Sorry! <laughs> What have you got? Uh, oh, again! <laughs> what's that? Some Opius Cambridge Eye. What we had in the last oh. box. So in our previous mystery box, we got a Cambridge Eye. We've got another one again. Uh, juvenile, £21. Smaller than the other one, isn't it? I think so. So there we go. I now have four in my collection. I'm not going to be keeping them all. Some will go for sale next year. So if we put that one up right, because it is our arboreal. arboreal tarantula, well done, well done. One more to go. This is my one, was it? Is it my turn? Yes. Last one from the mystery bag. Oh, what else is in here? Oh, there's some, it looks like there's something else, but it's not a live animal, so I'll let you pick that out after. The last one. Oh, same again. The Canthoscuria geniculata. Ooh, that's cute. So there you go. This one could be yours. So similar Ew. pattern to the Nandu that you liked, but not the same. And it's a lot bigger. So our other A-gem was a sling. This one is a juvenile. So... That's good value. Yeah, two weeks in a row now. We've, we've, we've had two weeks in a row. Two weeks for you. Two, two boxes for us. We've had two of the same animal. But I'm not fussy because we got our values worth. So what did this total up at? 20, 40, 60, 80, 82, 84. 85 pounds worth for a 50 pound box. The OBT alone is great for me. I really, really wanted that one, so I don't mind that. And to have a Vespertinus that could potentially grow up to be female is amazing too. So what do we get? What's the sweets that we got here? Oh, Tango Shockers. Tango Shockers. Got a gummy zone hot dog. What the hell? Um, it's a sweetie hot dog. Okay. Sour worms. And the sour worms. All right, so <laughs> what's your favourite out of that, that box. One. Yeah, the camera doesn't know which one you're looking at. Oh. You've got to try you've got to try and say the name. I've said it. <laughs> you need to pay attention to what I'm saying. Acanthoscuria geniculata. Yeah. Yes! Well right? done, yes, that's correct. There you go. That's my favourite. Do you want to have a guess at saying the others now? Oh god, okay. That would be probably the most difficult one if you didn't remember what I said. Terinoculus yes. Marinus. Yes. RCF. Red colour form OBT. So you get OBT. different colour forms of OBT. Wait, okay. They will be orange. They call them red colour form. It is orange. Pamphobetes vespertinus. Yep. Yeah. And then the last one. The P is silent. I obviously know that. <laughs> Salma. There's a couple of ways you can say it, so it doesn't Salmopoeus matter. Salmopoeus. I say Salmopoeus, some say Salmopoeus. Salmopoeus Cambridge Eye. Yeah, some say Cambridge Eye. I say Salmopoeus Cambridge Eye, but you can say Salmopoeus, you can say Cambridge E, Cambridge, 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 Cambridge E, Cambridge A, Cambridge. It doesn't really matter as long as you're using the scientific names, which is what I want you to learn. Okay. So there we go. That's, get your hands off the sweets. You can have them later. <laughs> yeah, I don't give you a sweetie. Oh, that's all right. Danielle gets to keep the sweets. I don't give my child sweets. He has chocolate instead. Fair enough. Alrighty. Well, that's it for today's one. If you want to check out last week's, last week's was the Brexit box. I know I've already given away a couple of the animals that were in that one. If you haven't seen it, by mentioning them here, but it's still worth a look. If you're enjoying these mystery boxes, the next one is going back to another spy shop mystery box. But this is one that's gonna be really, really interesting because it is a gimp box. 
with seven legs in brackets, meaning that it's going to be animals with missing limbs. The fact they've wrote seven legs, I'm assuming they're all going to be spiders, so it should be all spiders and tarantulas with at least one less leg. So that makes them quirky, that makes them fun, so make sure to check out next week's video on Sunday, 7pm UK time. Thanks for watching everyone, see you then, take care, bye bye.